So another concept, leg lock calf slicer position. This is gonna come whenever we have a, a left leg on left leg position or right leg on right leg. Okay, so we're in 50-50, I'm moving around. I have to get Nassar's legs open, but I wanna get a particular type of situation. So we're fighting, we're moving around, I can splice his legs open. This will come when, when Nassar is comfortable with giving me enough time to fight him from this position. So his legs are open. Uh, this comes from a specific situation where, when Nassar is trying to kind of like bail out of 50-50 by pulling his knee out. His knee is down, his hip is down, and he's backing up. This allows me to now attack this leg in a different reference. So I keep my knee, my foot close to his knee. Once I'm here, I know like, okay, now I'm gonna roll through. But when I roll through, I'm also using this as a point of reference. I'm controlling his hip because I don't have too much grip. I don't wanna be falling or trying to attack this foot because he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna worry too much. So this is all based off of Nassar's comfort. I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing the belt and I'm already looking to be able to establish a position when I feel comfortable. My hand's gonna come off. I'm grabbing the hip with my, my, my far side hand. So now it's left leg in, right hand on the hip. Now I'm gonna roll underneath the Nassar with my left arm. So as I sit up, I roll underneath. I find my calf slicer position, okay? My left leg is the inside. Now I have to be careful here. If I put my right leg in to try and figure four, Nassar can sit close, grab my leg and knee bar me. Okay, which is why I prefer to do calf slicers from the, from, the, uh, from the inside out rather than the outside in. So when I'm here, I actually don't connect my leg like this. I use my shin right behind my own Achilles. Okay, this allows me to block my leg from straightening and to start grabbing it. My right arm is protecting my knee. So I'm in a nice control position here. I'm not as scared to be, to be able to finish this calf slicer rather than if I just connect here. So I keep my shin behind my, my own Achilles on the calf side that I'm attacking. I connect my hands, and now all I'm doing is I'm pulling the SAR in as I try to straighten my body and bring it down by bringing his, his, his heel closer to his butt. If is trying to straighten his body, it's gonna be very hard for me to just pull him in. So I connect my hands, and all I'm trying to do is just straighten my body out. I, my core will always be stronger than Nassar's one leg, so I'm able to use this position to pull. Now I have to make sure that I'm keeping my shin here, that, that shin is pushing on my heel to make sure I get my support and enforcement that I need to be. I just straighten my body to the tap. So we're inside 50-50. We're nice and comfortable with both of our legs are open. Nassar's trying to get this knee just out, okay? I'm using this foot to keep close to his knee. I don't try to pull it below because I'm gonna lose the position. I don't wanna keep it inside the hip. I just bring it down to where I can feel on my ankle, the top side of his knee. My hand goes in the belt. I'm able to find my base. I'm nice and comfortable. I'm seeing my window if it's there for this move. My right hand comes off. It goes to the thigh. I'm rolling underneath with my left arm to find my position. Now, remember, I don't commit my right leg to leg lock, to, to, to figure four in my leg because Nassar will attack this knee bar. I put my shin behind my Achilles. Connect my hands. I'm straightening my body as I pull Nassar's uh, hip down and trying to get his heel close to his butt for the calf slicer to finish. Let's do it one more time. 50-50, Nassar's trying to pull his leg out. I keep my leg close, I'm finding my position, we're moving around a lot, I look for my window to go. I come up, grab the hip with my, my right hand so when I roll underneath, I'm already looking for my connection. My shin slides behind my Achilles. I'm protecting my leg now with my foot. Rather than applying it on top, and look, he's gonna be attacking a toe holder knee bar. I put my shin right underneath my Achilles, pulling his hips in, straightening my body, getting him still close to his butt, the calf slicer finish.